This video will help parents understand how Google Classroom can be added to their phones. You can add the app by going into either the App Store or Google Play. You're then going to look for Google Classroom. You'll download it. Once you have it downloaded, you'll open it. You'll click on the Get Started button. You'll have to sign in with either a Google um, Gmail account or you can use your child's email. You're going to allow for notifications that will give you notifications on assignments and things that have been added. You'll hit the plus sign once you're into Google Classroom, the app. You're then going to uh, join the class. There's a unique code for each class. For this one, I'm going to type in the test code that I made up here. Once you are in the class, you'll see that you'll have the stream. The stream will show you all the assignments in the order in which they were given. You'll see that the one that is posted the most recently will be on top. You'll be able to see the different uh, types of resources that the teacher has placed in there, whether they be Docs or Google Slides. You'll also be able to see um, questions that can be posted and the students would be able to write their answers. You also have the ability to type any private comments. You can add a comment, but if you go into here, you'll see that you can add a private comment at the bottom and that's when you can have the teacher answer a question within Google Classroom about an assignment if the student is having any issues. If you go to this middle part here, we were in stream on the left at the bottom. Now we're going to go to classwork. If you click on classwork, you'll see that all of the resources are there and the teacher has arranged it into a topic named chapter seven. So all the chapter seven resources would be together. Also, um, you would be able to see the people that are in the class like yourself and you would be able to see the teacher and you would be able to email the teacher that way as well. Um, so you will have to get used to the organization that each teacher will have. If you look, you'll be able to look at all of your Google Classrooms and toggle between them so that if you have one but you'd like to go to the other one, you'll just click on that and go to that as well. Another thing to note is if you go into settings, just make sure that for notifications that you have everything turned on so that you'll get notifications every time something is added to the Google Classroom. If you have any further questions, please do not um, hesitate reaching out to us and we hope this helps.